and seek audience. Is it an N? Now phone. Once phone now to stand to open door bearing mark and seek audience. Okay. What else do I have? Security cam picture. I gave everything to Anna as well, so all the inventory is gone. This is awesome. Alright, let's go. Right, now what? Now we're going back here. This is where that mope hides out, and that Chinese lady. I just need to remember the secret knock. Secret knock? What is this, some kind of clubhouse? Oh my god. What's the secret knock? Here we go. Two, one, three. See, like, now the game gives you hints. Even though you don't really need it. Well, I don't really need it. But now the game is telling you exactly what to do. Why didn't they do it earlier when there were the, the four of them running around the city trying to figure out what to do? See, now there's more direction. Like, now there's no... There's none of them walking around not knowing what to do. Nothing. Wait, what? Two, one, three. Okay. Hey, you. Yeah. It's not the same anymore. So, what? You got in there before, didn't you? Why can't you get in there now? They must have changed the secret knock, but that makes no sense. They're the ones who asked me to come here in the first place. Well, if I knew you were coming, I'd change the locks too. Shut up, Jimmy. Okay, we're not going in there. Can we just bust this thing open or something? Where's the... where's... what inventory do you have? Nothing, okay. What inventory do you have? Wait. Once for now to stand to open door bearing mark and seek audience. Once for now to stand. Once for now to stand. They've changed it, and the clue is kind of obscure. Okay, I can't walk that way. Oh, one, two, one, four, two. Hey, you. No, yep. what's? Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Later. One, four, two. Let's go. Right. Wait, are you sure we're not walking into a parlous situation here? Parlous? Why the hell do you talk like that? <laughs> Come on. Okay. Detective Bennett, Mr. Abbott. According to Reno here, you're 17 seconds late. Sorry for the shabby digs, but we need to keep a low profile for now. We've got a friend in common, Tolstoy Eddings. And I think we both want to figure out where he is. But, I'm sure you've got questions, yeah? Who are you? <laughs> what the hell is this? Who's that Japanese woman? That's what I want to know. Who are you, and how do you know who we are? I like you, detective. No beating around the bush. Just business. Answer my question, or I'll beat you around this room. I think you're in enough trouble already. No need for more violence, right? My name is Amul Batra, and this is my colleague, Reno. We're collectors. Collectors of what? Information. It's our business to know everything. Everything? 
everything. Why are we here? So you sent for us. We came. Why? You're here because the universe is a self-correcting machine. And until recently, Ed was a reliable, predictable cog. But now he's gone off the rails. We need replacement parts. Enough with the metaphors. Get to the point. We both want the same thing. Tolstoy Eddings needs to be brought to heel. We'll point you in the right direction. So you were working with Ed? With him? <laughs> no. We had an interest in resonance. He had an interest in resonance. So we took an interest in him. That's all. Did your interests include killing an innocent woman in cold blood? We did not kill anyone. But the entire Aventine police force seems to think that you did. Maybe something can be done about that. What is Ed after? To upset the machine. We believe he plans on setting off another resonance device very soon. I don't understand. He seemed to think resonance should be for the benefit of mankind. Why would he use it to blow things up? He did just kill Anna. He's not the most rational guy around. Unfortunately, even Reno here didn't foresee Ed's betrayal until it was too late. And she sees everything. So what? She's supposed to be some sort of psychic or something? There's no magic to it. The universe is controlled by laws. Everything from the planets orbiting around the sun to the firing of neurons and that little brain of yours. Call it a machine, call it fate. From initial state to end of days, everything's already been decided. And with enough information, anything can be predicted. And that is why we collect information. All of it. That's actually not true. Like, if you know anything about chaos theory, and if you know how the world works, it's not true. Because you cannot have enough information. How does it go? Like, you cannot fully simulate any mechanism with anything that is less complex than the mechanism itself. Which is to say, you can't, you can't predict the universe with any device that is less complex than the entire universe. So you can't actually predict everything. Like you always have to simplify the model. And when you simplify, you, be, you, you get inaccuracies. Anyway, I'll, I'll leave that there. That's actually all crap. Wait, did you say your name is Amu Batra? A Batra? You're A Batra, the guy who's been emailing you. You are the Eleven Foundation. You know this mope? This guy has been feeding me scoops, like that one on the Vice President wanted me to write some articles buttering up his cause in exchange. Cause? Increasing government surveillance powers in the name of anti-terrorism. Seriously? I knew you sounded shady, so I did some checking up on you, a mool. You and your Eleven Foundation are behind that DNA database and a Vorta. No point in denying it. And you took full advantage of it. That may be, but there's no way that thing is legal. It's only illegal until it isn't. What's that supposed to mean? Yamero. Yeah, Antivorter isn't a pressing matter at the moment. Okay. Arrest them. I should place both of you under arrest. On what grounds? On being black. <laughs> I should stop doing that. <laughs> I really should stop doing that. On you being black, on her being Asian. That's what? Um... On what grounds? I got a surveillance photo of you robbing Torta security. You were caught red-handed. I, uh, bollocks. I thought that camera was off. Tortoise knows his stuff all right, I'll give him that. I know, I know. Still, good luck getting Mr. Tortoise to press charges. He'll never admit his place was robbed. He's right, you know. Shut up. So what did you want with Tortoise's files on the vault? As I mentioned, we are collectors of information. And resonance is what? A trophy for your wall? No, it's much more than that. We want to see it put to good use. But our motive shouldn't matter to you. Ed's going to set off another resonance device very soon. 
You need to focus on stopping it. But I don't trust you, asshole. I don't trust you. Why did she slip me that gold file yesterday? You needed a nudge. We gave it to you. Cut to the chase. How do we stop Ed? Start from the beginning, the initial state, and extrapolate out. Exactly where did this all begin? The explosion at the lab. It should be easy to determine where the resonance devices that killed Morales were placed. But they could be anywhere outside the lab. You can find the distance between two resonance devices by the size of the blast made when the particles snapped back together. I acquired the formula and used the measurements from that hole in Morales' lab. The particles must have been placed four kilometers from the lab on either side. That's it? If you need more than that, you aren't the right man for the job. Reassuring. <laughs> Let's wrap it up, lads. Don't bother coming back here, we'll be long gone. After you've stopped, Ed, you'll see us again. Oh, and before you go, I have a little present for you. This makes no sense. What was that he handed you on the way out? A compass. So we can find north? No, a drafting compass, like you get in high school geometry. What do you think about those guys? I don't trust them. Everyone seems to only be interested in resonance. But they do want to stop Ed, and that's at the top of my list of things to do today. Let's just figure out where those resonance devices were placed so we can follow his trail. <sighs> okay, that was really weird. Alright, use the compass with the subway map. Lab. Wait a minute. Four kilometers. Do I have to do this man I really have to do this manually? No, pull it. Four was that four? That's four. No four. Wait a minute, did they say radius or diameter? Never mind. Uh, lab. It's apartment. Okay. Yeah, but what's there? Okay, where am I going now? Can I leave this place or, or what? Wait a minute, this is the other one though. How do I get to the other side? I like the vibe. The style is very student digs with a touch of crack house. <laughs> this is not an apartment, it's a staging area. Chosen for its proximity to the target, not for its allure. He must have been planning this a long time. Here's the resonance device, right as he left it. Um, should you stand so close to that? Okay. Tripod. Device is labeled 14B. This is it. The resonance device. Wait! He could be booby-trapped! Don't you ever stop to think before you charge ahead blindly? <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Asshole. Walker. <laughs> 14B. Okay. Mini fridge. One small jar of cocktail onions. Ew. Microwave. Cabinet door. Oh, look, we can take all this stuff. Why can't I just take everything? Take all, here we go. Oh, that, that's convenient. I just grabbed all my stuff back. Ah, Ed. I was pretty sure we locked him in that. I was pretty, I'm pretty sure we locked him. A lot of mold. Ew. We locked him in that vault. I don't understand. Alright, so we've got our stuff. 
Ultrasonograph, screwdriver, Morales journal. I don't understand. Now what am I doing now? Resonance device B. Cell phone is Mark 14B. Okay, Ray. Hey you. What's up? So, what's the plan? Why would Ed attach a phone to a resonance device? He told me earlier that he needed a trigger to activate it. A cell phone would fit the bill. I think we need to take a closer look at that phone. Okay, take a closer look at that phone. Except... 14B... Wait, we need to track 14B, don't we? Reggie's number. Uh, bro. Call Reggie. Uh, phone. Call Reggie. Hello? Reggie? This